Hello, ladies and gentlemen, KV here, and I'm going to go ahead and read the newsletter. Um, I already did the preview videos for um, Pirates, so I wanted to go ahead and read the newsletter, uh, see if there's anything um, interesting here. All was green and gold last month for Pirate 101. We hope you enjoyed the second annual sale on gold for St. Patrick's Day. I actually forgot about that, but oh well. I wasn't going to buy some anyways. And a few smart pirates who follow us on social media received an extra special gift. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, April started with the brand new Mighty Seed, which was the coconuts. Um, yeah. It was in Wizards 2. And yeah, April Fool's Day. And we're not fooling when we say very soon to explore. We say you'll very soon be exploring the test realm for the upcoming spring update of Pirates 101. Read on for more fun information and look back at last month. Alright, they said the same thing for pretty much, um, it was for Wizards, but I really don't read the newsletter for Wizards. Um, they said that, um, basically like the same thing. Um, anyways, um, let's go ahead and... This time we have to look at Ratbeard. Alright, last month we looked at, um, what was his name? Blind Mew. There we go. Rat Ratbeard is often voice of good humor in Pirate 101, but how much do we really know about his checkered past? Um, yeah, maybe, um, this Ruse Gallery will help prove some new insight. Welcome to Pirate 101. Yeah, subject Ratbeard. Ratbeard grew up a prince of the Port Regal on the world. He was a prince? What? Born into the um, infamous bearded family. He knew he was to... Wait, Ratbeard? Wait, what? Um, sorry. Um, he knew he was to be famous pirate before he took his first baby steps. Rapper spent his early years happily trending to his father's business, smuggling and pirating. All that changed when he tried to double cross one of the worst pirates to ever sail the Skyway of Cold Ranch, Captain Fowl. Fowl handily defeated Ratbeard in a fight, so terribly Ratbeard lost his leg. Oh, that's why he doesn't have a leg, okay. Um, then good measure, um, uh, Fowl. Killed Ratbeard's father. Oh wow! Burn out their hideout. Burn, burn out their hideout, and even sold Mrs. Um, Chillingsworth Ratbeard's favorite pet. <gasps> you can't steal somebody's parrot. Why? Oh, I'm just gonna try to get him back. Um, disgraced by the defeat, um, Ratbeard was ostracized by the other branches of the bearded family. Bread, bread, <laughs> beard, beard family. Instead of becoming a um, prince of pirates, rapper became a little more than a, a thug, flying the worst skywards in the spiral, uh, blah, blah blah blah, cheating um, his goal of buying a ship um, big enough to take the captain's foul galleon, the Turkey Bazaar. Um, when he heard tales of a mystery exposition being formed by Captain Avery hatching a plan, he hooked his sword and coat and spent the rest of his um, fortune to hire a crew of wolf rats. Um, Rapid was betting everything he had uh, on a chance to find the greatest treasure of Skull Island, Gun's Gold. This would be the old rat's last chance. Um, these pirates are more, uh, waiting, okay. Special note, look for some tips and tricks on strategies for training, um, your commanding rapper, um, this recent spotlight, okay. Um, we already trained him, like, look at the, wait, what is this? Um, look at that. Look at that guy. Uh, are you sure this is the fish are friends, not food, meaning? Fish are friends, not food. Ah, finding Nemo. Smart. 
At least that's why I know it from. And then it shows his books. Um, what is it uh, this time? I'm sorry. Um, hello again, dear pirate friends. Do you enjoy how your pirate can form last, um, lasting friendships with the companions in Pirate 101? You do? Then perhaps it would sound so mushy if I say that Elvis and the underdogs by generally is a story about how friendship can change everything for the better. That's what the book is about, but it's definitely not mushy. It's hilarious. Um, Oh, look at this. Um, it also says that Jenny Lee writes and produces the show um, Shake It Up, which is on Disney Channel. Interesting. Pretty cool. Um, and then we really looked at all the sneak peeks. I'll put a link in the description. Um, I already showed this, so there's no point of me even talking about it. Um, things are brown to explode on. Yeah, we already looked at this. Um... I'll have the link to that uh, video on um, fan sites. I'm not really too concerned about the fan sites. Um, I just want the test round to come out. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're interested in the game and you want to see maybe some fan art, there's probably some fan art, um, fan art somewhere. Um, there's probably a bunch of blogs here and a bunch of other stuff. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and this is pretty cool. Um, every court cam. Look at all those pirates. Nice. Alright, and then we have a little mysterious guy. One eyed Jack. What's the real story behind the nose goblins? Hello again, pirates. Instead of a tip this month, I have a story to tell y'all. You all, sorry. Um, y'all. Um, so inhale deeply. Do your noses uh, and relax, relax for a bit, and I'll tell you while well, I tell you the story, the rest of the story. What? A couple of months ago, a few pirates had a puzzle question that caused me to go on a uh, on a quest for answers. Basically, are the nose goblins um, found in the Dueling Diego mini game extract? Um, after a bit of digging for information on nose goblins. I found this nugget of gold, a picture of the original Nose Goblin concert art. Art, blah blah. Sorry, I'm getting annoyed. My nose is starting to hurt. <clears throat> Get it? Because no, I'm just kidding. My nose is just uh, hurting for whatever reason. All right. Anyways, um, I checked the programmer. I was gonna say primary answer. Um, I checked the, with the programmer for the game, and his point um pointed me to a long term. Um, King's Iron employee who was definitely known the length of the uh, Crino Dead Bed Guard Act like story. Um, okay. Indeed, this information blew me directly into the hallway where I stuck to the wall for a moment until I saw one Jeffrey Tony, principal artist of King's Iron. Yes, it is he who originally flicked this character into the Dueling Diego minigame. So, in a quick hallway hallway ah, my voice is starting to hurt again sorry um so in a quick hallway conversation um jeff enlightened uh, my nostril cavities with a new perfume of information as it turns out that there was at one time supposed to be a tropical world for wizard 101 back when it was being created huh um i kind of think they implemented that into celestial because it was kind of like Wuponies, or I forget what they're called in um, Wizard, but anyways. Um, one of the creative directors that's no longer with us cut the character from the lineup of characters, like the plastic um, surgeon gone wild. What? And then eventually the whole idea of the tropical world and Wizard 101 was scrapped. Oh, well, that sucks. Um, that's bad. Um, Jeffrey Tony, however, still loved the vi um, vision pun of the... Wait, didn't we see those thing with it? Um, I gave this notes job as an opponent in the game. Okay. Um, mini game and Wizard 101. Okay. Oh, yeah, I get it. Okay, my quest has ended. And the truth is that one, they're not extinct, but never existed in the world of Wizard 101. 
And those goblins will probably never appear in Wizard 101 or Pirate 101. Sad. Okay. It is cool to know that the principal artist, um, Jeffy Tony, was the one that gave them the um, sniff of life in the game to begin with. Okay. Cool. Um, <clears throat> that's a weird drawing, but it's cool. All right. So that was the newsletter. Um, basically, the only thing I wanted to look at was um, <sighs> this. Uh, they keep. Hopefully, it comes out. Uh, I thought it was a cattle time. Sorry. Hopefully, it comes out in the next few days. And it'll probably come out maybe next week. Maybe in the following week. Um, it's not going to. It never comes out on the weekend because it's closed during the weekend. Uh, for whatever reason. Just like in Wizards, um, it's closed. So, yeah, that's going to go ahead and be it for this video. Make sure you guys like this video. It really does mean a lot when you guys do that. And make sure you subscribe so you're notified when the test room actually does get released. And we could cover all that wonderful stuff. So, thank you all for watching. I have been KV, and I am out. Peace!